Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> We'd like to welcome you all this morning to our celebration of the Eucharist. And uh, if the children are with us, we'd like to welcome you and your families and also your teachers. And we have a special feast day today. We're wearing red. And the feast is the feast of Saint of Charles, Lawanga, and 21 Ugandan companions, the pro martyrs of black Africa in the late 1800s. So we honor them today for their sacrifice of giving their lives for the gospel. We pray especially today at this Mass, of course, for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus and all those who are sick in any way and pray for an end to this pandemic. We pray also for peace and harmony in our nation. Pope Francis said we should not turn a blind eye to racism and exclusion in any form and he called for national reconciliation and peace. We, we pray especially, of course, for an end to the violence and self-destruction and self-defeating and for the looting and violence and hatred. We pray especially for peace and justice for all. Let's call to mind our sins at this time and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all nations and all peoples into the peace and joy of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you come to us this morning in word and in sacrament to help us to grow in your love. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, you will come again in glory. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians. Mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Lewanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God for the promise of life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did, as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. For this reason, 
I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design and the grace bestowed on us in Jesus Christ before time began, but now made manifest through the appearance of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, for which I was appointed preacher and apostle and teacher. On this account, I am suffering these things, but I am not ashamed, for I know him in whom I have believed and am confident that he is able to guard what has been entrusted to me until that day. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The responsorial psalm. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. To you I lift up my eyes who are enthroned in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants are on the eyes of their masters. To you, O Lord, Lord, I lift up my eyes. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are our eyes on the Lord our God, till he have pity on us. To you, O Lord, Lord, I lift up my eyes. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Some Sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brothers. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman and died, leaving no descendants. So the second brother married her and died, leaving no descendants, and the third likewise. And the seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled, because you do not know the scriptures of the power of God? When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passage about the bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. You are greatly misled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Paul and Timothy were uh, close friends. Actually, uh, Paul baptized Timothy and confirmed him. And uh, they were both on missionary journeys together. But Paul continued to stay in touch with Timothy. And that's what the reading is about today. Uh, Paul... uh, very supportive, he said, (coughs) kindle the gift God granted you when I laid my hands on you as the Holy Spirit. Kindle the gift, stir it up. I like that word kindle. And 
I was in high school and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in the seminary, the teacher would usually come in and say a prayer before class, and, uh, or the professor, and they would say, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love, kindle in them, stir up the fire of your love. Uh, last Sunday, of course, was Pentecost Sunday, and an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit was um, very much a part of the church at the very beginning and still is today. We all know that. Uh, the Holy Spirit is the primary agent of evangelization. So the spirit that God has given is no cowardly spirit. No cowardly spirit, today's reading said, but one that is strong, loving, and wise. And we might add healing. Strong, loving, and wise, and healing. The Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is present in us, and present in our community, and present in the world. Very important to be aware of the presence of God in our life or the presence of the Holy Spirit or the presence of the risen Lord, whatever way we want to put it. But God is always present in every situation. And also in today's reading, we have those words, never be ashamed of giving witness to the gospel. Never be ashamed. I have a good friend, a priest in the diocese, Father Brian Hayes. Father Brian Hayes was in residence with me for six years up in University City. He was working in the tribunal. And he always maintained that that was the scripture passage that touched his life as a young guy. And he made up his mind to give his life giving witness to the gospel. Never be ashamed of the gospel. Never be ashamed of giving witness to Christ. Isn't that beautiful? Very, very powerful, very powerful. We are all encouraged at this time, especially, of course, to pray uh, for a strong and courageous spirit. For, as, as today's reading said, a spirit that is strong, loving, and wise, and healing. We pray for the healing of those who are suffering from the pandemic. There's a tremendous need, not just here, but all over the world. And we pray for <coughs> healing in our nation, <coughs> excuse me, in all of these cities where there's demonstrations and uh, violence and so on. It, it seems things are getting better, and that's always good news, always good news. So maybe we could uh, remember to pray especially to the Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. That's a great, great prayer. Of the children, that beautiful little uh, verse that we sing and know so well, come Lord Jesus, come Lord Jesus, live in our minds, dwell in our hearts, and be our companion in the journey of life. That's a very, very powerful prayer. Come Holy Spirit, we need a spirit that is strong and loving and wise and healing. Let us lift our minds and hearts now to God our Father and pray for all of our needs. Let us pray for the spirit of wisdom to fall upon our nation and our world's leaders and our country's leaders that they may have the knowledge and will to build a more just and peaceful society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For uh, 
families waiting for loved ones and all those serving in the military and medical fields on the front lines of the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the eight graders who will be graduating from Sacred Heart Parish School this coming uh, Saturday. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for John Roberts uh, and his classmates who are preparing for ordination to the permanent diaconate. We pray also for the two candidates preparing for ordination to the priesthood. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially today for the happy repose of the soul of Rosemary Porter. We also pray for Jimmy McNeese and all of our departed loved ones and deceased members of our parish family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Sean Sweeney, who is very ill, and all those who are ill in our families and in our parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our own special intentions, whatever they might be, we lift them up now to God our Father through the intercession of Mary. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is, is with, with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among, among women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, Master, grant that, that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. that we receive, and in dying that we're born to eternal My sisters and brothers pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted these blessed martyrs grace to die rather than, than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonder of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth, 
sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the holy angels, cry out and without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope. Robert, our bishop, John, his assistant bishop, with all the clergy, the religious, those consecrated to your service, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. My Jesus, breathe on me as you once breathed on your disciples. Open everything blocked in me to receive your Holy Spirit more fully more deeply, come, Holy Spirit, come. I want to receive you into my soul. I long to come to you at the table of the Eucharist, where I believe you are truly present by the power of the Holy Spirit in the most holy sacrament. But since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart where I embrace you and I unite myself wholly to you. Veni Sancte Spiritus. Never let me be separated from you. Keep me close in your sacred heart. Amen. One bread, one, one body, body, one, one Lord, Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we bless, and we, though many, throughout the earth. 
Let us stand and pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us, <clears throat> in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to thank you all for joining us for Mass this morning, <clears throat> and the children, teachers, parents. So it's uh, very encouraging, very, very encouraging. We'll have a daily Mass here starting Monday, and then <clears throat> a week from uh, this Sunday, the Feast of Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Christ. We will have uh, Masses here in the church, and people can also... Uh, participate over in the Paris Center or out in the patio. It's going to be beautiful and very special, but we all have to follow <coughs> the rules and the regulations. So we're uh, looking up. So that's good news, good news, good news. We're very grateful to all of us here this morning who are helping us. It's always a gift and a blessing. Uh, rosary this evening, as usual, at uh, 7 p.m., 7 p.m. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, radiating the joy of the gospel. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Immaculate Mary, your <coughs> praises oh, we sing. You reign now with splendor, with Jesus our King. 